In this quick video, we're going to look at the process of creating a quotation in Sage50 Cloud Accounts. To get started, from the navigation bar down the left, we click Quotations. We then click New. And the first option we have for quotations is to choose the format. Now you should find it will default to a product quotation. However, you can also choose from a service quotation as well. If you do choose a service quotation, the only thing that differs is the main body of the quotation. So obviously service is designed for you to key in your details. Whereas with the product quotation, it will then let us start choosing the products and services that we've got set up within our list of records. So for the purpose of this video, we'll just do a product quotation. We'll leave it set to today's date. Obviously, we can change that if we want to. We'll then choose our customer. So we'll just choose the first one from the list. Obviously, as you do that, it pulls through the company name and address into the box in the upper left-hand corner. We'll then enter an expiry date. So how long do we want this to be available for? So in this case, we'll just... Uh, Let's type it into the end of the year. So we'll do 31st of the 12th, 2020. And then we're going to come down to the main body of the quotation. So we can either type, start typing in the product codes or literally select them from the list. So I'm just going to do the one item purely for speed in this example. So we'll just choose that item, that annual service charges that I've got set up. And as usual, just a bit like similar to invoicing, it's going to pull through your unit price so you can amend quantities. You can amend the price at this point if you want to. As you can see, we've also got a number of tabs. So we're on the details tab at the moment. You've got your order tab where you can change the delivery address if required. You can add notes, change the contact details and also update the custom fields. You've got the footer where you can add carriage details settlement terms or what you may know as early payment discount. You've got your global update options and you've also got your tax analysis box as well. And then finally, you've got the payment tab. So if a payment has been made up front, you can enter it there and then. Just going back to details, what we're going to do at this stage is we're just going to save it. Now, once we save it and we close out of the blank quotation screen, you can see it has now been added to the list. Now it's worth noting at this stage that the quotation type says invoice. So we've got our system set so that if we were to flag the invoice as being one, it will convert it into an invoice. Now, if you're on Sage 50 Cloud Accounts Professional, you can actually go into settings and then invoice and order defaults, and you can choose for your quotations when you mark them as one, do you want it to convert to an invoice or do you want it to convert to a sales order? So it's only on the professional level of the software that you will get that choice. The rest, it will stick uh, default to invoices. So we just okay that. Now within here, we've got the standard options as you'd expect. You can print your quotation. You can always email it as well as you'd expect. And all we need to do now is if we want to flag it as one and essentially generate an invoice from it is to make sure we've got it selected and then on the toolbar we've got this option mark as one. If we mark it as one we'll get a confirmation message are you sure you wish to convert the selected quote? We're going to click yes and that's it done. Now if we pop into invoices and credits at this stage and we'll see we've got the quotation that was converted into an invoice. So it was flagged as one. It's automatically generated the invoice for us at that point. It's added it to the invoice list. And at this point, if, if required, we can obviously print the invoice, we can email it. And of course, we can update it to the ledgers. But that's how easy it is to deal with quotations in CH50 Cloud Accounts.